So this is your February, March, 2020. Okay. <clears throat> here we go. So we have this web author over here. Let me just drag it down. <clears throat> You're going to create a web page and edit the style sheet for just uh, drive forest. The web page must, uh, the web page and the style sheet must work in any browser. Don't worry about that. All color codes except those provided in the source file must be in hexadecimal. Make sure that your style sheet contains no HTML. Now, basically, it means this no HTML is <clears throat> you should not uh, use internal CSS file. This is what this is what they mean by that. Okay, so we are not using internal CSS file, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay. Just one second. Let me just set up my. Okay, okay, right. Uh, <clears throat> make sure your style sheet uh, contains notion. Create a folder by this name. So first of all, let me get the files. That's the first thing you should be doing. So March 20, this is what I have. So I'll extract it. I will leave it over here. This is what we have. That's my folder, okay? Uh, what we're supposed to do is, we're supposed to name the folder as this. So we'll simply, named folder like this, right? Look at the following files and store them. In this. So, so we have them in our file, no problem with that. Display the content of your folder, showing the full folder name, all the files, extension, image dimensions, and file size. So here we go. We have the following. So if I show my folder, this particular folder, I can see the type, the size. And if I view as this, uh, not this one, you the content yeah this view i can even see the dimension the type the size and the name of the file so i'll take a screenshot of this and I'll place in the evidence document so i'll just say new and i'll take a screenshot of this i'll just copy and i'll paste it in my evidence document are we clear on that right <clears throat> right if you have a problem just let me know uh take a screenshot of your folder done Page. We have to get a web page by this name. So here we go. I'll simply open Dreamweaver and we'll initially first do this part. So file, save as, obviously I have to save it. Uh, it's in my, so you obviously you will be uh, placing it in an appropriate folder. So. Uh, probably on the desktop or the D drive. Mine is a bit lengthy path, but it's fine. Oh, here we go, here we go. So we save it with this name, .htm, and I'll save it. This weapon must work in all browsers, and we'll have the table as shown. So I need one, two, three, four rows, and four rows and two columns. So I'll make table, that has four rows and two columns, perfect. We learned how to do this before and we'll do it again. Now, how do we set it up? Well, uh, use the split option. And over here, one by one, you will adjust it in the, in the, in the TD, in the TD and so on. But before we do that, we need to merge. As you can see over here, the first two rows, I have to merge. Then, C and F. So, C, so I will merge these two, okay? And then I'll have ENF, so right down. The first is 1000 by 200, so this is 1000 by 200. All I'll do is I'll simply copy this, and within this, within this, wherever it is, this is TD. This particular TD I'll be writing over here is 1000 and 200. Then we have over here is 360 by 270. We have this as 360 and 270. So one one will do this. There's lots of marks for this. 360, 270. Then we have 360 by 120. Uh, if you see below or here, this is this 
one. 120. Right. Then we have is 360 by 390. Uh, this is 360 by 390. So here we go. 360 by 90. Right. Then we have 360 by 270. And one last one to go. I hope you're following me. No issue. 270 and 640 by 270. The last one is 640 by 270. Right, once we're done with all this, uh, I told you that the dimension that we have in the table will remove these. Because if I, if I leave them, they will contradict my uh, settings in, in every cell. Obviously, I don't want that. So, so I have no width and how I define my table, but my respective cells have been defined. So here we go. I have this. If I preview this in the browser, you will see is I have made exactly the table that was required. Be done with that. Okay. Next, what we're supposed to do is each table a cell is identified with the letter and all dimensions are in pixels. We've done that. The, let the letters and dimensions will not be shown. Obviously, they're just for us to know. Table uh, border uh, must appear. So this table by border must appear means that the table border should at least have is one border, okay? Which is place a cell in image this, which is logo.png. So in uh, set the width of this image to 1000 pixels and maintain. So first let's place the image. So over here, I'll click on the image and you can see over here is I have this logo. I'll place this, I'll name this as let's say logo. The alt means that if the image is not available, what X should be there, okay? Now we have to maintain a specter issue. We talked about this before, you see this lock sign. If I change the width to 1000, the height will change automatically. So if I change this to 1000, you see automatically the height changes because I mean in the aspect ratio. Once you're done with this, click on, on the border of the, of the table. Uh, you, everything will be adjusted itself, you see? Are you with me or I'm just talking to myself? You're with me, all of you? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you so much, I know that. Okay, so you so I just clicked on the, on the table border and it will adjust itself, so no problem with that. Okay, point number done, we're done with 12. Okay, point number 13, important. Place in cell B the image to be used to select diving ship. Okay, B is uh, this one. So what do we have to do? B, the image to be used to select the diving ship. Okay, so over here. Yeah, this is dive ship. Okay, so I'll name it as just just name it accordingly. Okay, done with that. Next, you see how exactly did it fit because the image size was equal to the size of the cell. This means we are absolutely doing it right. If there was some difference, then obviously the examiner would have told us to change the size of the image. Okay, since it's fitting exactly, we are doing it perfectly right. Okay, done with this point. C is a placeholder, 640 by 354 pixels high, containing a video clip, rec1.mp4. Display an automatic text based uh, error if the browser does not open the image. So this is the alt text. So we have to insert is a video in C, which is this one which will be 640 by 354. Now see how will we do this. I'll click here and I'll simply, while, while I'm here, while I'm here, inside this TD, or not inside the TD, over here, over here, over here, I will simply do is, I'll write, since my, it's not working, it's, it's fine. It's not fine, but. I'll be using over here is 
parent source shouldn't be one second just one second so I have my keyboard it wasn't working so here we go uh, we will use is em so you see embedded embedded space src and we can simply click on browse and we need is over here is this this one so you just close it done but we're supposed to specify the width and the height so width is 640 by 354 So here we have, we have now, now am, I, am I right? 354, 354 and 640, right, okay, done that. Next, uh, let's just have a look. Uh, we, if you want to display the all text, you click on this and obviously you can simply uh, define, I want to play it right now. I can simply come in the design and over here, I can just write over here is ALT is equals to, I can just write over here. I don't know, I'll just write video of, uh, what was the video? Right, that's enough. So we have this now. We're done with this part. E, the image to be used to select diving aircraft's rack. Okay, so E, which is uh, this one, will have this one will have an image aircraft. Okay. Just write the alternate text to represent what the image is. Again, perfectly fine. Okay, so we're done with this. In cell D, you have to enter the text this. Okay, so over here, I might I, I show this is D. Let's let's obviously this is D, but this is D. So this is D. Over here, just enter the following text. And you're supposed to do what is make it H1. So we'll select and we'll simply make it H1. Format H1. Right. In enter in cell F the text this. And F was this one. Yes, this one, and we're supposed to set this as um, set the text in F as H2 and followed by followed by your name, send number, candidate number. What do we mean by that? Which means on a new line in the same place, we will write over here is the following, and we are going to set this as H2. So we'll set this as H2. We're done with this, we're done with this. Okay, we're done with 15 point, we're done with 16 point. Add appropriate order text to all images, we've done that. Attach the style sheet this to the web page. So interesting part. Why interesting? Because this is, this is where the magic trick comes in. You browse and you're supposed to attach a, let me confirm, was it this one? Uh, no, no, it's not what I want, I'm touching. So make sure you're in the same folder. So this was PC again, long path because I, did choose a long path. This was the one. So press OK. Right? So you see the CSS file has been created for us. So automatically everything changes. Save your web page. 
Open the style sheet this in a suitable software package. Edit the style sheet to add the following. All table borders and grid lines are blue. Let's, let's do it. Let's edit this. So file open. We are supposed to edit the CSS file. This one. Okay, what we're supposed to do. All table borders and grid lines are blue with no red and blue component. Let's do that first. So, okay, we have not defined table borders over here. And what else? All cell padding within the table is set to 10 pixels. So we have to define over here the table tag, which has not been defined. So I'll come here, tag, table. Uh, they haven't defined. This is GDR. It is the same one. So fine. It's fine. We have to define basically because there's no table tag over there. It's with solid collapsed line, two bits of white. Okay, right. So we'll simply come to border. We'll make it solid. We'll make it two, as the question says. Okay, as the question says that it's supposed to be two pixels white, it should be solid, and it should be pure blue, no red. Or, so it's RGB, R, G, and B, red, green, and blue. So R will be on, the rest will be off. So what we'll do is, we'll simply select from here, is over here, this is blue, you see? This is blue, R, G, B, only B, F is on. Okay, we're done with that. Now we, we have to define is the <clears throat> ED. We talked about this before, that if you want to define is the inner cells, we did that, that needs to be done inside TD. So you come inside TD and you do the same process with TD. Border, solid, two, and blue, apply. But we were supposed to do something as well, which was, all cell padding within the table should be set to 10. So cell padding has to be 10. So I'll go to table again and I'll edit and I'll make sure that we have over here is the cell padding to 10. Same for all. Okay, cell padding 10. Apply. Done. Yes, we're done. Add your name, send number, candidate number as a comment in the style sheet. So I'll come here and I will add as a comment. And I'll add over here is the name. Center number and candy date. Take a screenshot of the contents of a style sheet. I'll just take a screenshot of this entire thing and I'll place it in my evidence document. Display your web page in your browser so that all page can be seen, all text is readable and address bar is visible. Take a screenshot of the HTML as well. So I'll come back to my HTML. Obviously, I'll save everything first, save all. I will go to file and I will preview this in the browser. And I will take a screenshot of this entire thing. Okay, if I can't do it one, I can take two screenshots or I can even press control minus. That's another way. Okay, so control minus. And I can take a screenshot of this as well. But uh, you can take multiple screenshots or let's see what they're saying. Take a single screenshot browser window. So single shot means you can zoom in and zoom out actually. Take a copy of the HTML source. We have to take a printout of the HTML as well, which means this is HTML. Okay, we need to print the code, print code. So one print code of HTML. Second, we take a screenshot of the web page. Third, we take a printout of CSS. So three printouts we've got. So this was a total of 37 marks that you've done. Okay, this is March, 2020. Any problem with this beta, anyone? Is it clear? Yes, you're with me? Yes, sir. Uh, so is, 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 is it fine? Let me just pause the recording and I can talk to you.